you guys, Ashley here, Sparkly Canadian Crafty Girl, and I just wanted to share with you some goodies that I picked up from Simon Says Stamp. I will put the link below for you guys so you can check out their shop. So the first thing that I got is a new Copic marker, and I am so excited. Um, I saw Kelly Marie Alvarez use this on one of the Lawn Fawn videos, and it is just such a pretty pink color. So this is Begonia Pink. It's RV14. And then the next thing that I picked up is this Jelly Roll pen. I have been absolutely obsessed with these. Um, Jamie carries these over in the Not Too Shabby shop, and I have the clear, the black, and the white, and I use them so much. So when I saw that, Simon Says Stamp had this one. It is like a glittery one. I picked this up because I thought it'd be fun for adding glitter to my projects. The next thing I got is this die, and this came out in the um, latest... December release I believe and it is just absolutely gorgeous. It's called Heart of Roses and it is so intricate and pretty. I just love how those roses are inside that heart and I think too if you use like a little fussy cut of um, pair of scissors you could cut off the pieces and you could get the little rose dye out of it as well. So I'll open it up so you guys can see um, how big it is here. <clears throat> I haven't opened it up yet. Oh, wow. It's a really great size. It's nice and big. It's like um, the size of my palm and it is just so gorgeous. So I'll definitely have to share with you guys once I get a chance to um, die cut it out. And the next thing I picked up is this die element set. It is by Avery L and it is called, oops, um, it's called Sweet Scallops Die, and I just thought this was a really good value. Um, I forget exactly how much it was, but I believe it was around $20, and I love how you get this scalloped um, card base one. You get a scalloped oval, a stitched oval, and then this one is like the scalloped and stitched together, and then another scalloped oval. And then I also loved, um, I really wanted to get some little confetti pieces so I thought that was super cute that they used the extra space there and gave um you get three stars so you get this big one and two little ones over there so kind of like you could cut those out to be little sequins for your cards and then also you get three little heart ones so I thought that was a really great value and I don't have many dies I'm starting to collect them for my um collection and I thought this was a really good set um to get me going with some new dies so I got that and then the last thing I picked up I'm really excited about, this is from, I think it was quite a while ago from one of the Dear Lizzie releases. It's the 52 Week Journal by Dear Lizzie. And I'll show you guys, um, that's everything that I have for the haul. So if you're not interested in seeing a flip of it, then um, you can just end the video here. But if you want to see a flip, I'll show you all the pages right now. Um, first of all, the ring is like really pretty gold and the polka dots are metallic and both sides are like that. And the back has the really cute Dear Lizzie um, brand there. So I'll just quickly flip through. Um, I already did look through it and it is really gorgeous. I love all of the colors and I think it's really girly, which is totally me. I love bright, cutesy stuff. Um, so basically what it is, is it's 52 weeks and for each week you are supposed to um, journal about something. So it's kind of like um, a little list that you write each week. And I am going to probably include some photos with mine and stuff like that. Um, so the first one's about where you lived, and then this one is just um, today I will. And it's kind of like um, a thinner paper. It's like computer paper, I'd say. Um, but just for making lists, I don't think that that matters too much. This one's what's currently making you happy. Best days ever. I love these little, looks like little sprinkles. Um, wishes for people I love. Where you want to be in 10 years. That's really cute. I love the pink flamingo. And then here's just a spot to put your favorite books. Um, what to do on a rainy day. The one thing I have to say about this book, like I love everything about it. I just wish the rings were a little bit bigger. These size rings are perfect for the amount of pages that are in it. But for me, I know I'm going to embellish these pages as most crafters who would buy Dear Lizzie would. And I know that um, a lot of people will want to add photos. So I just think it would have been nice if the rings were a tad bit bigger just so that um, when you add that little bit of bulk, it will still turn nice. I will definitely be filling this out starting today. So I'll maybe share it once I get it filled in and um, show you guys how it is. Maybe the rings will be just fine, but I just have a feeling knowing me that I'm going to try to stuff this with everything that I can fit in it. I love all the pages. The other nice thing is the pages are all different colors. It has like not just like one color theme. And I think it's cute how... Um, 
I think it's cute how it's like all different. It's not just like there's different colored pages and they look different. Like there's different motifs on them and it's just really, really cute. I like it a lot. And I mean, you totally wouldn't even have to embellish it. I'm guessing that's what they want is for you not to embellish it because it doesn't give you the extra ring space. But I know that I'm going to want to embellish it. This is my absolutely favorite page. It says the perfect day would include and it's just so, so pretty. And I'm kind of going with a mint pink and gold theme for my um, for my scrapbook this year. So I think what I'll do is once I have this filled out, I'll probably tuck it into the back of my scrapbook and um, keep it in there so that when people are looking through my scrapbook, then they can also look through this little journal. See, as I'm getting to the end, it's a little bit trickier to flip. That page is really cute too. So I believe it's 52 weeks, so you can do one of these each week, and I have a couple weeks to catch up on, but um, I think this is a really cute idea. And honestly, if she made another one, I think I would even buy it as well if it was like different. So that is the 52 week journal and um, that was my haul from Simon Says Stamp. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, again, I will have the link below for um, the website and thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't and have an awesome day. Bye now.